Yo, hello guys and welcome back again to a brand new video. In today's tutorial guys, I will be showing you how to create a headless WordPress website. So in this video, I will make sure to show you in step by step how to make a WordPress website without a head or without like the main menu that you see in the upper of the page. So, first of all guys, I will need you to go to the WordPress website that you have. For me, I'm just going to open my local host because I have it in it. So here we go. And simply now I will click on access WordPress. And from here, this is like how it looks in the page. So before we get started and show you how to actually do that, I'm willing to tell you guys now to watch this video from now to the end because the information that I'm going to give you are really really in detail so i really hope that you follow me step by step so you don't miss anything in this video so first of all guys there is some methods to actually remove the head the first one which is by going to your dashboard and so this is the dashboard and from here guys i will need you to go to the menu which is this one and in here guys i will need you to go to appearance go all the way down to theme file editor and of course, from here, guys, if you have some knowledge in HTML, you can go and just remove the head by your own just from here, as you can see. So you can just go to your HTML code, find the website, as you can see, his style CSS is all the website things that you can get. So you can go through all of this, the header, the footer, everything is in here. So you can just edit it or like find it by your own and change whatever you'd like to change or keep whatever you'd like to keep as you can see from here now as you can see this is images yes so you can edit all of these things by your own later on now for me as a beginner i'm not really into programming etc what can i do in my case well there is multiple options to do that the first one which is by visiting the site and of course click on f12 and as you can see here guys this is the dev of the header so basically if i clicked here and deleted it it will be deleted so basically now as you can see if i went back to my website you will find it here so how can we really save this well there is multiple ways to do that as well so let me just open the dashboard back and go to appearances team file editor and let's check for the html so let's go here and search for the html code mm -hmm. it says here maybe or here so we can change for it in these sections and find it somewhere around here so all you need to do is find the html code of your website in here so here's the theme okay this is like everything that has related with the actual uh, php i think this one will be the one so react so react build control css um i think this one will be it so basically now you can just find here so for example i have here this dev called let's see what this dev is being called let's make sure that is uh everything selected so the dev is called site header row container inner so what you could do is just copy this search for it here with control f search for it find it and remove it so this is the first step when you finish click it here to update file the second thing what you could do is something let's say that you don't want really to remove all the header you only want to remove some stuff for example uh, let's click here and you want to remove some stuff so what i can do for example let's let's choose this so let's try to remove this so here as you can see i'm going to this one which is box sizing i will just click here click on display and make it to none so this thing will allow you actually guys to remove a specific thing so if i clicked in here i selected this and i went to here display none it will be deleted so what you can do is simply uh, after you delete something for example let's try something with the header so let's try to remove uh, this section so i'm going to display here none and here we go so as you can see it is deleted so basically what i'm going to do is copy this so try to copy this from here um, let's try to copy it from there okay so Control c and then go to customize after you Control c and you copy everything that you want to edit go to customize go to additional css and from here just paste the code and as you can see it has been already deleted so now we can click on publish and if i click or refresh 
nothing will appear in the top of my website as you can see here now if i want it back i can just go here remove this and here it is of course you can even remove this white thing so let's try to remove it as well um let's go to our website so here we go and let's try to remove everything so f12 and here it is so i think dev blog or play site blog um is it this one let's check if it is this one display none okay not this one make sure that you are selecting the current thing so i think this one is the thing uh -huh. this is my middle okay i think you can't really delete this so let's try it with another thing in my case my template this doesn't really allow me to delete it but yeah overall if you want to delete something you just have to click on it with this icon which is over here select it find it in here find the current name so it is entry for me or entry loads box let's, let's check none and yep it is this one so now what i'm going to do is simply go here copy this one as well and go to customize again and simply do the same thing which i've done before which is additional css and from here i will just do this do this and it will be deleted and yeah you can keep doing it like over and over and over until you delete everything and make your website blank guys but yeah this is like an idea you can do and basically guys sometimes sometime you don't really want to only remove the header but sometimes you want to remove the thing over here unfortunately guys you can't really remove it uh, since there is some uh, credits that they can't be removed so there is some template that will allow you to remove this which is the name of the template there is others that will not allow you to do it so for example if I clicked here I can't do it and if I refreshed my website is working fine as you can see but otherwise there is some uh, template that when you do this thing and you try to remove like the copyrights and you move the template name and the link to it your whole website is going to get ruined and everything will be disordered and some content will be deleted um, but yeah you can get it back of course it will not be deleted permanently it will not it will only be invisible from you but overall if you added like the copyright thingy back to the website everything will be back to the normal state and you will be able to work with it fine so yeah guys so once more if you wanted to remove something like to have a headless um, website you can just use the html code from here or just the css or of course just get a, a theme without a head uh, or like a header as you can see for example this one it has an image then a header um this one as well doesn't have a header um yeah you can just choose the theme that you'd like you can search for it on google if you'd like to you can search for it in here also or you can make your own theme and drag it here on you and upload the theme over here so yeah guys that was pretty much it i hope you learned something from this video and see you guys in the next tutorial